Big Brother, mainstream media, government cover-ups. You want answers? Well, so does he. He's Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. And now, live from Austin, Texas, Alex Jones. Tommy, why don't you tell us about the new project? Obviously, we've seen you in uh, American Drug War, very powerful in that, you know, along with uh, Freeway Ricky Ross and others. Just an excellent film by Kevin Booth. But what's this, uh, what's this other project? Well, a.k.a. Tommy Chong is, is uh, the film was, that was made by Josh Gilbert about mm-hmm. me, uh, my, my trials and tribulations going into prison. Mm-hmm. It shows me uh, before, uh, during, and after the, the prison thing. But uh, the, uh, there was an interesting development that just happened two days ago. Uh, the, the feds, the same people that put me in jail originally, uh, Mary Beth uh, Buchanan or Mary Beth uh, Luce, Luce Cannon, as I call her, uh, she, they raided the warehouse where the film is, was being kept, and they confiscated uh, uh, somewhere like 10,000 copies of uh, A.K.A. Tommy Chong. And, and they told uh, Matt Stevens, the uh, distributor of the film, that they were doing a, a preliminary uh, seizure. And, uh, and he asked, you know, how long will this invest? You know, when, when can we get our stuff back or mm-hmm. what's going on? And they said, uh, well, the investigation after the investigation. And they asked him, how long uh, would the investigation take? And they said upwards to 15 years. <laughs> So it doesn't look like they're getting those 10,000 copies back. Did they, did they give a reason why they did that? Or? No, no, because they, they, it's a preliminary seizure, so they can't really tell you why they're seizing our, our property. And this is really odd to me because there's a ton of different marijuana-type film documentaries out there. I think the latest is Super High Me, and that's not getting rated. That's not getting taken out. It seems like when you try to take a political perspective and expose those that are hypocrites, like you just said, you know, Mary Beth Buchanan in Pennsylvania... Uh, you know, where a plane went down, a supposed terrorist took it down. It seems like we've turned into the terrorists after 9-11. It seems like, you know, Patriot Acts 1 and 2, and even the Military Commissions Act, is really there for the U.S. citizen and not so much the spooky terrorist. Well, you know, this is Kevin uh, talking. You know, the, your guest on earlier was talking about how people didn't used to fear the police. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, I would say that the, the the last 37 or so years of the drug war, have been a, a perfect way to change how everyone views police, and the drug war is a perfect way of making everybody so we fear the police now. Um, it's, it's really it's changed the game uh, while also dumbing down America. And, you know, what other better boogeymen are there that can never be defeated but drugs and terror? Well, well, how can you ever defeat drugs or terror? There's no way to do those things. So it's, it's, a, perfect, uh, it's a perfect, you know, psyop on us. Yeah, it's a perfect ongoing war and a perfect way to get funding again and again and again and again. And then I would say even, even another aspect of this is when they jail these people for nonviolent drug crimes, they're in these prisons working for privatized corporations at about 39 cents an hour, sometimes doing telemarketing. It's a perfect scam. It, they, they make money coming and going and every which way in between. Tommy, what, what's your view on the war on terror right now? On the war on terror? Yes. Well, it, obviously, it was uh, manufactured, uh, you know, uh, purposely or inadvertently by, by this administration or by the Republican Party mm-hmm. in order to keep, uh, in order, first of all, in order to get them elected. Mm-hmm. And second of all, in order to keep uh, their their cronies that are making millions and billions of dollars off that, uh, keep see money is made with chaos. Mm-hmm. Whenever there's chaos or martial law, you know, uh, declared, then uh, these huge corporations can come in and and just uh, rape and and, and pillage uh, the villages without uh, opposition. In fact, they they do it under the guise of uh, of uh, of um, you know, being trying to create law and order. You know, mm-hmm. like they like they try to create peace uh, uh, in in Iraq. You know, <laughs> so it gives you an idea. You know, and and like like uh, Matt said, or or uh, the other uh, Kevin said, you know, th- this is the perfect uh, way to keep the the um, you know the the criminals in, in action. Mm-hmm. You know, it's rats in the pantry, is, is, is what I call it. You know, and and so I I feel. You know, uh, 
what I learned in, in, in prison is, is that uh, the universe is perfect. And for every action, there's a reaction. It's called karma, whatever you want to call it. And so what we're going to witness here, what we witnessed with the George Bush, uh, you know, time in office, we saw how the universe uh, just played with them, you know, with Katrina, with the war, with, uh, you know, all these, uh, you know, with, with Dick Cheney shooting his friend in the face with a, with a shotgun. All these, all these things are the universe uh, uh, acting against uh, these guys, you know, because that's the way it works. So you, like te Kevin, would probably say that you don't see any end uh, in sight for the war on terror or the war on drugs. Me? Yeah, yeah. Um, well, no, I'm saying, I'm saying, Tommy, do you Tommy. see an end in uh, in sight? Kevin said he doesn't see an end in sight. Uh, do I see either. an end in sight? Yeah. Oh yeah, you. it's also it's a, it's a cycle. Absolutely, absolutely. I see it. Uh, Coming, you know, nothing lasts forever. Mm -hmm. You know, the peace and prosperity doesn't last forever. You know, Obama won't last forever. Uh, no one lasts forever. And and George Bush definitely, you know, his time is is not only numbered, but but he he you know him and his boys broke international law, and so they won't be able to travel outside of the U.S. without risk of uh, being arrested. So so oh yeah, karma is 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 a bitch boy. And when it comes down on you, it comes down on you. And 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 that's what kept me uh, uh, going. You know, while I was in in jail, I I just used that time. You know, to to write a book and to become an activist and to to let you know travel around the country and to 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 show people like Mary Beth Buchanan. You know, her actions. You know, I mean, it's done secretively. And but I'm going to be on every major talk show. You know. Just talking about it and talking about it until until I you know I embarrass uh, the government so much that that they just, they're just going to have to knuckle under and 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 give up this stupid uh, attitude they have. Go to, go to DEA dot gov and buy your copy today. <laughs> <laughs> well, Kevin, I mean, there's a ton of extras on your American Drug War film. One of them uh, is a Tommy Chong extra. One of them's an Alex Jones extra. I think there's even an extra on Joe R P. Oh, the uh, or pile the uh, the sheriff out there as well? Yes, definitely. Yeah, um, you know, and I had to just show that. A lot of people say they, they you know they can't stand watching it, but I mean it's important for people to just see the the arrogance you know in these drug warriors. And and when when you go out there and when I found you know the four years I spent trying to document the drug war is that most of these pro drug warriors kind of like. Uh, you know, like Tommy says, they're like rats. They scurry away. They hide in the shadows. So it's it's rare. When you find someone who's as pro drug warrior uh, as Joe Arpaio is, who's proud to be on the camera, and so you know that's why you know it's important for people to see that face and to hear him talk and just the the level of self righteousness and it and just the denial of hypocrisy, just like what we're seeing right now uh, in this massive San Diego bust, where now something like 250 students aren't going to be graduating. All because one girl OD'd on cocaine. Well, I looked it up, and, you know, the hazing deaths. I mean, you know how many students die from hazing every year? So, once again, it's it, it's okay if you die from alcohol. It's okay if you die from cigarettes. It's certainly okay if you die from any number of pharmaceuticals. But when someone dies from illegal drugs, like, oh, my God, you know, it's time to just start throwing everybody in prison. Yeah, and throwing them in prison to someone like Arpaio, who wants to dress them up in a uh, pink prison jumpsuit. And I think it says something like, I was a drug addict on it, put on a chain gang, really dehumanizes his prisoners, at least from what I've seen. I mean, that's all over the place. They, they did that in, in the prison. This is Tommy Chong. Mm -hmm. I was that, you know, dehumanizing people. They had a transvestite that still had her, uh, her penis, mm -hmm. but she had breasts. And uh, and so she was like a, a, an oddity in in and ugly as sin by the way. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, he, he or she had an oddity, uh, you know, she was an oddity in the, in the main prison. So mm -hmm. what they did, they dressed her up in a in a in a pink. Uh, 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 you know. Hold that thought, Tommy. We're going to come back right after this. It's the Alex Jones Show. I am Jason Burmis. LooseChange911.com is my website. Uh, we're talking to Tommy Chong right now, and before we get back to the uh, prison and dehumanization, Tommy, you mentioned how these people like to create order out of chaos, and I just have to ask you, because a lot of people have talked about this on this program, what's your view on 9-11? We've had people like Willie Nelson, Jesse Ventura, 
um, you know, senators, congressmen, come on and doubt the official version. Do you doubt the official version of 9-11, Tommy? Oh, oh, absolutely. Absolutely. There, there are so many horror stories about 9-11 that have been, been, been kept quiet that, uh, you know, I mean, it'll be like the Kennedy assassination. You know, years later, we'll find out the truth. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Well, what do you think some of the biggest inconsistencies in the official version are? Well, uh, the, the, the biggest inconsistency is the fact that who was allowed to fly after the, the, everything was shut down? Mm -hmm. It was uh, the Bin Ladens. You know? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, they blame this yeah. guy, and then yeah. they let the family go yeah. while everybody yeah. else is grounded. Yeah, it would have been great to have them, to, to, to ask them some questions, or to torture them, actually, you know, <laughs> once, once uh, you know, we got Bush, you know, got the torture thing under under his belt.